Hello and welcome to your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Dr. Patrick Hock. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Good morning, this is your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Patrick Hogg. And I've got a nice, interesting story to tell this morning. I've got a, another client coming in later on this afternoon. Um, and it's really interesting, sometimes a second opinion is so key to helping someone out. So, really interesting story. We've had a client come in, coming with acute, acute neck problems, and she's already been to the hospital. The hospital, because, because the issue is so bad, she would have been to the hospital, the hospital gave her some painkillers. I've told her it's a trapped nerve, but I haven't really done any full physical examinations or any real further investigation. So there's no real understanding as to how or why that nerve is getting trapped. And it's really, really interesting because this happens to me quite a lot in my practice. Is it will quite often give in second opinions when someone feels like they've not necessarily been listened to or they've not been heard or no real investigation or examinations have actually been done. And this happens, this happens normally when the hospital is really, really busy. And so this person's come into our office, uh, come in for a second opinion. Now, interestingly enough, if the hospital had done some further investigation, the, if the hospital had done some further investigation, they'd just done some simple imaging, and they'd just got some images done on the neck, they would have seen what the problem was. Within a second of opening up the image to see what this proper person's problem was, I could already tell you what the issue was. So sometimes we question ourselves as to whether we should go and get a second opinion when the doctors have told us that there is no problem there. And this happened to me twice yesterday. I had someone else sent to me for an x-ray referral from another clinic somewhere else and the doctors have told them that there is nothing wrong. I've taken the images and if again, had someone had taken some images, they would have seen the problem. So don't question yourself. If you're really, really concerned about an issue and you really feel like there is something wrong and someone has told you that there is specifically nothing going on, it is not wrong to want to have a second opinion. And it is quite common for me to give people a second opinion after they've seen a physio, after they've seen a doctor, after they've seen an osteopath, they might even seen another chiropractor who hasn't done any imaging or hasn't done a full and thorough examination. And so they don't really understand the condition that this person is going from or don't really understand where that pain might be coming from. Then don't question that. Just get yourself into another office, have someone take another look, get another opinion, potentially try and find someone that can help you get some imaging done. And now, as a result of that finding, we're gonna be able to actually help this person manage that condition a hell of a lot better than what they've been currently struggling with. So like I say, second opinions, uh, a lot of people question whether they should be getting a second opinion. Well, if you really don't feel like the diagnosis has been given to you properly the first time, and you don't feel like enough examination has been done for them to conclude what's going on, then jump in with someone that may take a little bit more time to understand the problem. And that's what we like to do here. We spend at least half an hour with every new client to work out what the problem is, as opposed to a really rushed appointment that you have with your GP or your doctor in five minutes or less. Patrick here from Complete Health, this is your daily dose. We're hopefully, hopefully helping some of you maybe think about getting a second opinion. Take care for now.